Okay, we're here today for a no heat situation. I just removed the panel and just turned on the system. We're going to watch it start up. The fan inducer seems to be working fine. Hear that. Alright, I'm going back through the cycle again. Niger start. Just clicked on. Here it comes. Oh, it's taking a long time to heat up. It doesn't look like it's heating up evenly. Cycling it one more time. Watch it. Igniter. Yeah, and I don't know if you can tell, but it's uneven when it does ignite. And it finally gets all red all the way up. Only after the burners are going. Try a different. Uh, Igniters. This is the first time I kicked this on before I was taping. Um, the igniter glowed. I heard the gas valve open and the gas release, but nothing lit, and then it shut off. And then the second time, by that time I had my camera out, it lit. Okay, we've uh, put in this. Uh, uh, Honeywell Glowfly, which is a universal hot surface igniter. Uh, it comes with, you can see all kinds of different mounting brackets, and uh, we've used the one similar to the the old hot surface igniter, and you can see the the white crust on the uh, ignition coil there itself, and that uh, is a good indication these are going bad. Uh, so we've taken this out. And replaced it with the Honeywell Glowfly, and I've got it mounted back in here and reattached to the uh, Molex plug. And we've got it hooked back up. And if you can see back in there, um, it's mounted back in there just in front of the burner. Let's see if I can get a good view on it there. So um, it should be just about right position. And we're going to cut it on and see how this reacts. So there is the system. You should hear the induced pan motor. And there it starts. And we should see the glow fly right there. Or heat up any second. on, starts to light, nice bright, gas valve, and we're on. And that concludes this little troubleshooting on this machine.